So don't get mad, but Caretaker wants to run emo kids tonight. I do not like it, but I can live with it. That's where I'm at, as long as it's just a night. All right, let's do this. Lead the way. Tonight's ritual will prove to be an absolute treat. Caretaker rarely displays her true power. Haha, <laughs> raw power is nothing without the precision to magnify it. Tonight, we bear witness to a master. I confess my ignorance as to her methods is quite thrilling. A rarity for any Sorcerer Supreme. How much did Nico tell you about tonight's meeting? She said you are leading it. I suspect you have an opinion on the matter. Say what you must. I am ready. That's all? Yes. When do we start? As soon as you want. Tonight I will cocoon your conscious mind from your past self. When you are ready, we can safely observe the events of your death. We can begin. What is the last memory on the night of your death? Lilith, asking me to join her. Keep it close. That's where you'll begin. All right. What do you see? Lilith and I face each other in the circle. Join you? Why would I ever do that? Since my transformation, I have made so many children, yet all pale beside my greatest creation, my true child, perfect, conceived in my very image. I am nothing like you. Not yet, but you will be, when I remove the shackles that bind no. you. I will never stand by your side. Foolish child, you have no choice in the... But we can no longer afford such lies. I cannot move. The Darkhold. She has the Darkhold. You cling to the delusions of your captors. Embrace your true self trapped within. She lifts the Darkhold high. She... That's it? That's how the hunter died? There's nothing more. So the hunter died because of... a book? Miss Rasputin, the Darkhold is hardly a book. So Lilith read the hunter to death. I guess she channeled her demon powers through the Darkhold. Ugh, still a boring way to die. You died predictably. You sound disappointed. Death for the hunter should not be so banal. Next time, add some spice. Get your legs stuck in a combine harvester. Have a sack of starving weasels tied around your face. 
Anything but demon powers. Observing your own death can lead to sleepless nights, I know from personal experience. If you have trouble sleeping, I can write you a prescription. A joke, of course. I'm not licensed in this state. What did Lilith mean about your true self? We are finding more questions than answers. True, but we have someone here who can help decipher them. Sarah knows her sister better than anyone alive. Perhaps she has insight on what Lilith meant. I will talk to Sarah. Sounds good. I think that's it. You leaving? In a minute. Let me know when you're heading out. What have you been doing, Ebony? Aw, oh, who is a good kitty? Another meeting completed. You heading out? That is it for me. Sounds good. See you next meeting. Hunter. Yo, it's good to see you.
Oh, you are gonna love this. Something to keep us occupied? I look forward to hearing how this fares in combat. We are finally getting some decent tech down here. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? Sometimes, I even impress myself. Day, Hunter. Sounds relaxed. No pain, no gain. I think we've got something for everyone. Lucky day, huh? Let's do it. I wasn't holding back. All right, then. Back again. Caretaker said I need to be a team player. Later. I gotta say, hanging with you has been a major confidence boost. Well, uh, sort of. Sort of? Have you seen the people we've got cruising around this place? Tony's a genius, Strange can do practically anything, Cap is a friggin' icon, Carol can fly the solar system and the fighter jet, and then there's me, with a flaming demon in my head. A flaming demon in your head is far from mundane. Yeah, it's cool. But not, you know, top shelf cool. 
Not like those other guys. Do not let it rattle you, Robbie. Have faith in yourself. I don't know. I don't want to mess up and disappoint anyone or, worse, get someone hurt. I made that mistake once before and I have absolutely zero desire to do it again. Trust yourself. You have the right skills. And if you need backup, Sparky is always with you. Trust in the demon. Sparky's great, but I make the judgment calls. And my track record is iffy at best. We all mature in different ways. Yeah, I hear you, Hunter. And, uh, I appreciate you seeing the best in me. Even if the best is Sparky. I think the best of you is yet to be discovered. Exactly what I needed. A chance to quiet my cluttered mind and just be. What thoughts clutter your mind, Doctor? Ever since the Sanctum was lost, I felt a bit adrift. Lost in a cosmic sea in which I've lost my ability to navigate. I've been giving a lot of thought to the direction my life will take if we survive your mother's apocalypse, but who am I if I'm not... Sorcerer Supreme? Sorcerer Supreme or not, you are still an Avenger. But is that all I am? All I want to be? Perhaps this is what you should meditate on. Yes, that's a bright idea. Thank you for still having faith in me even when I've lost faith in myself. You are proving to be a most unexpected friend. Hey, you know what sucks? What? Having your weapon manifest out of your chest. <sighs> it feels weird. Your staff, tell me about its properties. Well, to summon it, I need to use my own blood. Pretty metal, right? Blood does contain iron, yes. <laughs> Good thing I'm not queasy. Yeah, that would make me a pretty bad blood witch. Why do you bleed? That's just the price I pay. To top it all off, my staff only responds to a spell once. So you must be decisive with your casting? That's putting it lightly. I don't like to have the staff bursting from my chest like a baby alien for nothing. Is it sentient? Well, it has a name, the Staff of One, and it listens to my words, so kinda? Well, we don't need to get into the philosophy of it. That'll get me feeling all existential. Noted. Thank you for letting me in on your pain. Well, when you put it that way, you make it sound so... emo. Hi. Thanks, Hunter. There's my hunter.
Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. Consider it done. Their intent is... Get to the trucks and grab those artifacts before they roll out. Sounds like busy work. You're going to have to deal with one of the fallen. All is well for the moment. That truck is about to move out. You're running out of time. Don't stop them. Get to the artifact before they figure out what happened. Ah, we've recovered one of the artifacts. This belongs in a museum. Something is wrong. Shall be of great help. I guess this is the end of the line for you. Yes, we're not 
done yet. You're ready now. They have not changed their plan. The artifacts are secure. But why don't you teach Hydra a lesson while you're there? You better come up with something new. No mercy for the servants of Lilith. Something of a relief, at least.
has good insurance. Cannot be broken. Maybe I should be flattered. ever faced to me. Welcome assistance. Here we go. You might want to get that looked at. I'd say that was a very successful outing. Good work. Uh, we're supposed to have shop class tonight, but Robbie... Tony really got under his skin. I've never seen him this mad. Can you help me talk him down? Lead the way. Thanks, Hunter. You've gone too far, Tony! Explain how replacing outdated equipment is a problem. You moved my car. It was in the way, and I moved it back. Ah, uh, crap. All this flashy junk isn't why I'm here. Why any of the rest of us are here. Well, I'm here to make progress. If you aren't, then get out of the way. Never meet your heroes. I get it now. I don't know why I thought you could change. Hunter, I need a few minutes to myself. Tony pisses everyone off. It was not personal. It's not that. He's the same as he... It doesn't matter. 
I'll be okay. I just need a minute. Hey boss, any clue why Robbie freaked out about the new gear? Does he hate efficiency? I thought you invented the spark. Yeah, well, it was a team effort, but... Well, has it lost the capacity to send messages to your teammates? I see where you're going with this, boss. Yes, I could have ruined the surprise by letting everyone know I was turning the shop into the factory. Tony, you should have asked. I had to pull a lot of strings to get this here. I didn't think it would be an issue, okay? I'm gonna bring the rest of this gear online. Should help you streamline the process when you and Parker do your thing. Robbie just needs a little space. Let's get started. We don't have much on this Sabertooth guy, but we know he's incredibly dangerous. He's also somewhat predictable. In what way? When it comes to a fight, he's extremely aggressive. Our ideas take advantage of that. What have you cooked up? The initial prototype uses a tailored pheromone to keep him away. It provokes an intense revulsion we hope will blunt his attacks. Like a foul scent used to keep animals at bay? Well put. Our other prototype is... Well, we kept it simple. It's part sedative and part itching powder. To trip him up with a thorn in his paw. A very distracting thorn at that. Thanks for getting me those components. We're good to go. Time to... uh, Tony, what's up? I think your gearhead pal is still wound up. Uh, okay. Hunter, give me a minute. I want to make sure Robbie's okay. Take your time. I'll assemble the prototype for the Hunter. Oh, I'd prefer to hold off. There are some details I want to go over before we begin. Oh, come on. You've managed so far. How hard can it be for me? Uh, oh, sure. Fine. Before we get started, I've noticed Parker takes twice as long to finish these prototypes than he should. I have some ideas. Give me a minute. You know what? Don't worry about it. I can handle this myself. Okay. Sit back and watch the master at work. You looking for a round two? I don't want to butt heads, but to quote a friend of me, I can do this all day. Tony, I, I don't want to fight you. You were my hero growing up. Kids do love Iron Man. Not Iron Man. You, Tony. The man who could fix any problem with technology. What do you want, Robbie? Ten years ago, you bought the Salazar steel plant, then shut it down. Do you remember what you said at the press conference? when you announced the Stark Technology Center? Uh, something witty? You said, I'm here to make progress. If you aren't, you should get out of my way. Tony, you put half the families in my neighborhood out of work. And for what? You never even broke ground on that technology center. I don't even remember this. Three years later, most of the families who you put out of work had moved away. Follow the jobs, you know? The rest of us weren't so lucky. That's when things got real bad. But those families had it right. You need to know when it's time to move on. So good luck with shop class. I hope it's all the progress you want it to be. You too, Parker? Yeah, Tony. 
If I could manage it, how hard can it be for you? <sighs> Damn it. What just happened? I guess you are in charge now. I didn't want this. That is not what I saw. I can fix this. Maybe, but not tonight. You are going to love this. What have you brought me today? An excellent find. Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony. I'm here on Sister Cave. Sometimes, I even impress myself. I feel like I could automate this process and take myself out of the loop here. Until next time. This should be useful. This will do nicely. I have something for you. An RSVP to my birthday? Components for shop class. Be honest, have I traveled back in time? No, you sent me a message. Right. I set those up before the last meeting. And you got one. So, what should I do with these components? Mm, I can take them. Are you sure? Yeah. If you hand them over, I can get Tony and Robbie talking again. And if not? I'll give them all back. Deal? Agreed. I still say we should have built a firing range first. Practice makes perfect. New and improved. They say about practice, right?
Do your thing. Hmm. I've got some questions about vampires that I was hoping Blade could answer. I have noticed you are very curious about Blade. He's an interesting guy. Plus, we're both half human, half something else. We have common ground there. What do you think of him? I believe he called you cool. Huh. <laughs> what? No way. I mean, I am cool, but not because Blade thinks so. Explore this more, Carol. We do not have time for an Apaka romance. Time is all we have. Use it wisely. Fine. I'm not great at this... Uh, uh, feeling. End of the world situations forge strong bonds. A half vampire, a resurrected hunter, a half alien. Do not forget the guy whose head routinely catches on fire. The Midnight Suns are one of the more colorful crews I've run with. I'm here if you need me. See you soon. I'm almost getting used to seeing you on your feet again. Almost. We need to take that monster out! Face your end! As they say, no problem. Powerful sorcery. Excellent. Keeper. There are worse things than death, and I can make them happen for you. Cross me again.
so it seems. I'm feeling stronger already. interest. will not be pleased with your efforts. Sidekick. Going. Ah! I mean, 
expect to win. As they say, it gets the job done. Try this. Whatever works for you. Prepare. We've done it. Excellent work. more laid back than I expected. I'm on vacation. Fighting the mother of demons is vacation? Okay, I'm on sabbatical. Compared to teaching a bunch of kids, this is vacation. If you have a wealth of knowledge, you could share it with the rest of us. Sorry, can't freelance. Promised an old friend. Also, my boss. And an extremely powerful psychic who tracks me with his mind. Are we being watched right now? Always best to assume. Oh, hey, what's up, Chuck? Hmm? Nah, I'll be here another month at least. Sure. See ya. He, uh, hung up. <laughs>